اهلا بيكم طالبات وطلاب جريد 1 براب برحب بيكم في حلقه جديده ومراجعه جديده في الماث تحت رعايه واشراف وزاره التربيه والتعليم من خلال مراجعتنا النهارده هنركز على المين كونسبت تو بي ريدي فور ذا تيست ان شاء الله سو سو ليتس جيت ستارتد General Revision 2 Question 1 Complete each of the following The sum of the measures of the accumulative angles at a point equals of course equal 360 They are meeting at the same point So the answer is 360 degrees Number 2 If a straight line intersects Two parallel straight lines, then each two corresponding angles are equal in measure or are congruent. We have the same measure for each angle of them. Let's take more exercises on the board. Now question three, if the measurement of angle A is 110, then the measurement of reflex uh, angel, uh, angle X is equal to what? As you know, the reflex is more than 180 and less than 360. So 110, I'm going to subtract here 360 minus 110 will give us here and here too. So the answer is 250 degrees. Number four, the two adjacent angles formed by intersecting a straight line and array are what? So a straight line means we have 180 degrees. So they are called what? We have already supplementary angles or 180 degrees so are supplementary number five the two right angles the, the two right angle triangles are congruent if we have two conditions number one the hypotenuse and one side the hypotenuse and one side of a triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of the other triangle Question two, choose the correct answer from those given. If the measurement, or sorry, if angle X complements with angle Y, and angle X congruent to angle Y, that means they are equal in measure. And complementary is 90 degrees. Then the measurement of angle X is Y, is what? So they are equal in measure, so each one of them is 45 degrees, or 90 divided by 2. The correct answer is letter A. Then, the number of triangle in this opposite figure equals what? Let's count them here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. We have already 4. Then, let's take 2 by 2. Here we have 1. then two, then three, and here four. So four and four, they are all equal eight. Number three, if the ratio between two supplementary angles is five to 13, then the measure of the, small, uh, of the smaller angle is what? Let's count how many parts are there from the ratio. Here, five to 13. So the total is 18, which is 5 plus 13. We have to add them, okay? Then, as we know here, we have supplementary, so which is 180 degrees. So we are going to divide 180 degrees, divide by 18. So each part is, in, is 10 degrees. So the question asked me about the smaller angle. So I'm going to take the small number, which is 5. So 5 times 10, which is 50. So the answer is letter A. Question 4. 
Triangle ABC congruent to triangle XYZ. The measurement of angle A plus the measurement of angle B is 100 degrees. Then the measurement of angle Z is equal what? If I have any triangle, so the sum of them is 180 degrees. The sum of the three angles. I know two of them, the measurement of two of them, which is 100. So we need to subtract it from 180. The third one should be 80. Ignore the order now because we have A congruent to X and B with Y. So he asked us about Z, which is the third number. So if we have a question about C or Z, so the answer will be 80 degrees. Here it is. Then, the two straight lines that are perpendicular to a third, let's draw it. Two straight lines are perpendicular. Perpendicular means it makes 90, it makes 90 degrees. So let's make 90 degrees. Yeah, two straight lines, okay. Perpendicular on a third line, okay. Then the two straight lines are what? Let's talk about this two triangles, this, the black ones. They are parallel to each other, so the correct answer is letter B. Then, the figure number doesn't concurrent with the opposite figure is number one or two or three. This is the given one. Here we know angle, then side, then angle, 35 centimeters, then 40 degrees. Let's have a look at number one. Here we have 30 and 40, so 5 centimeters should be here. Is it here? No. So this one is, or this one doesn't congruent with the opposite figure. Let's try two. Here, 30 and 110. And here the missing is 40 because as we said, when we add the three angles, we will get 180 and 5 here. And here 40, this one is 30, also 5 centimeters in the middle. And here we just flipped it so 5 centimeters between 30 and 40 degrees. So the correct answer is number 1. Question 3, answer these following questions. A, mention two cases of congruency of two triangles. We have three cases. We have, for example, side, angle, side, and side, side, side. And also we have angle, side, angle. Let me read them. Two triangles are, are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of the other triangle. Second one. Two triangles are congruent if each side of one triangle is congruent to the corresponding side of the other triangle. So SSS or SAS. B. In the opposite figure, AB equals BC. From the dash here, AB equals BC. Then AD is equal to CD. Also, we have two dashes. The measurement of angle C is 80. Here it is. The measurement of angle B, D, C, B, D, C, this one is 40 degrees. Prove that the two triangles C, B, D, let's make it C, B, D, this one, the red one, and the other one, let's make it with black. Triangle A, B, D, A, B, D. So I have two triangles, red and black. They are uh, congruent, or prove that, yes, they are congruent, and find the measurement of, sorry, here, they are congruent, the measurement of A, B, D. A, B, D. I need this one. A question mark. As you can see here, we have two congruent sides. In each triangle, AB is congruent to BC, and AD is congruent to CD, and we have a common side, which is BD. BD is a common side in both triangles. So here we have 
BD is a common side. So actually we have side, side, side. Then how can we find B? Let's work on this one first. C, B, D. How can we find it? We have to add 80 plus 40, then get the sum and subtract it from 180 to get the third one from any triangle. So here it is 120, then we are going to subtract it from 180, so the answer will be 60. So this one is 60, so also A, B, D is 60. So the correct answer here it is, let me clear all. Side, 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 because of the because of the common side, this one, which is BD, and the angle is 60 degrees. Question 4, answer these following questions, A. In the opposite figure, D, E, the ray D, E is parallel to the line segment A, C. Then, the measurement of angle A is equal 110. 110 degrees. And the measurement of angle D is 70 degrees. Find the measurement of angle C, this one, and is AB, the ray AB parallel to CD, given the reason. Okay, do you see letter Z? Do you see it? So this one immediately is 70 degrees. They are parallel, so we have letter Z, 70 and 70. So the first angle is 70 degrees. Then they asked me about AB, is it parallel to this one? Let me clear here. AB, is it parallel to CD? How do we know that? If this one is 70, as we said right now, so here we have interior angle. This one is 110 and 70. They will be parallel to each other if the sum of the two interior angle is 180. Let's add them. 110 plus 70 is 180. So the sum is 180. Yes, of course, they are parallel to each other. And give the reason, here it is. To give the reason, we use the interior angles, which is 180 degrees. Then, by using the ruler and the compasses, draw the angle ABC, where the measurement of angle B is 80 degrees, and draw BD, or ray BD, to bisect the angle. Don't remove the arcs. We need to use, or we need to draw 80 degrees. To draw an angle ABC, and the measure of it is 80 degrees, we have to draw an arrow first. That's our arrow. That's our here, ray, okay? And put the vertex here in the center of protractor. So I'm gonna put it exactly, yes. And measure one, uh, 80 degrees from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, till we get 80, exactly here, 80. So, and, Zero, 80 degrees and right, correct here. So we draw 80 degrees. And here another ray. How can we draw the bisector? It was B, D. So here it is, A, B, C. And no need for this part, by the way. So here we have, put the sharp point on the compass on it and draw an arrow. Draw arc here. That is the first arc. Then take it. Let's put it as E or M and N. Then from N, put the sharp point here and make another arc. Then put the seam here and draw another arc. 
hold it a little bit. Then match the intersection point between the two arcs with a ruler. So here it is. From B to get the intersection point. Okay. So here it is. I didn't remove the arcs. No need for this one now. Okay, here the two arcs, they are intersect in a point. This point divide or bisect the angle, which is A, B, C, and let's call it B, D. So here we have B, and here we got D. That's it. Let's return back to our questions. Then question five. In the opposite figure, the line A, C intersect the ray B D with point B. Then the measurement of angle A B D is 50 degrees, and the measurement of D B C is 2x. As you can see here, find the deg find in degree the values of x. How can we find it? Because it was, we have straight line here, we have a straight line. And you know it is 180 degrees. How can we find the missing, which is 2x? Of course, we need to subtract 180 minus 50 degrees. We will get 130. So 2x is 130 degrees. To get x alone, we need to write an equation here. 2x equals 130. We are going to divide both by 2, both sides by 2. So x is 65 degrees. 13 divided by 2 is 6, and the remainder 1, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the correct answer is 65 degrees. Then, in the opposite figure, BD bisect angle ABD. Bisect means what? They are equal in measure. If this one is 35 degrees, so the other one also is 35 degrees. Then, the measurement of DB. C is 35, and the measurement of D, or sorry, B, D, C is 180. Okay, 120. Find the measurement of angle A. That's what we need to get it. A question mark. How can we find it? As you know, the sum of any triangle, or the sum of any uh, angles of any triangle is 180. I know this one is 35. And here, angle by sector. So both of them are 35. This one, 120. Let's complete it to be 180, this line. We have a straight line or supplementary angle. So D is 60 degrees. How do we know? Because 180 minus 120 equals 60. Or you can do it mentally. 120 plus what will give us 180, which is 60. OK, I know now three angles. Let me clear all of them. We know this one is 60 by using supplementary angle. And this one is 35. How can we get A now? Let's add the 35 and 60. So 60 plus 35 is 95. Then subtract it from? 180. We have fixed steps, okay? Always we need to add two angles, then subtract it from 180. Sorry, here 95, and here it is subtracting, okay? So 5, and here 17 minus it, which is 85. So the correct answer is 85 degrees. Thank you so much. That's all about our lesson today or our revision today. I hope it was clear for everyone. Good luck on the test. Bye-bye.